polysaccharides are the most abundant biopolymer available in nature. This group of molecules can be found in microorganisms, plants and animals, starch, pectin, cellulose and hemicelluloses are the most studied and extracted plant polysaccharides. Although various types of polysaccharides are extracted from the vast plant-based sources, all these are associated with both economic and environmental cost. The search of alternative sources for polysaccharides is crucial to ensure round-the-ear availability at a reasonable price without affecting the environment and the food chain. A variety of organisms produce exopolysaccharide as an extracellular or cell surface attached material in the form of amorphous slime. Most bacteria are used as industrial producers of exopolysaccharides, xanthin, gelin, curdlan, and dextrin are the well-known industrial produced polysaccharides and they are synthesized by the species of Xanthomonas, Spingomonas, Alcaligenus, and Lecanostac. Few fungal exopolysaccharides are also well known for their unique physical chemical properties and potential for wide industrial applications. Pululin is one such commercially important fungal exopolysaccharide. This is a water soluble alpha glucan composed of maltotriose subunit. These extremely versatile exopolysaccharide has the capability of providing a technology platform for product innovation. Due to several unique physical chemical properties, pululin has found wide application in food, pharmaceutical and cosmetic industries. Recent literature suggested its potential towards application in the field of drug and gene delivery. It is an excellent film former, producing a film which is heat sealable with good oxygen barrier properties and which can also be printed. Hence, pululin can be formed into capsules for use with pharmaceutical and nutraceutical products. The global market size of pululin was 10,000 TPA, that is $250 million in 2009. It was expected to grow at 6.75% per annum. More important, its major competitive products, that is gelatin and xanthan gum, also have cumulative market size of more than $2 billion, which can also be tapped to enhance the total market of pululin. The major manufacturer of this molecule are Hayashibara, NOF Corporation and Yushi Sehin Coal Limited, all from Japan. Despite large number of uses, there are certain problems associated with pululin production. One of them is the producing organism has a tendency to produce melanin, which actually enhances the recovery and purification cost. Ultimately, the major bottleneck for commercial production of pululin comes down to the fact of the cost of the final product. And the final product cost is three times more as compared to its competitive products like xanthan, zelan, etc. So we wanted to have address this challenge by screening different type of strains and our objective was initially to start with to obtain high, highly osmotolerant, high produce exopolysaccharide producing strains and I collaborated with my colleague Dr. G. S. Prasad, head MTCC and we have started with the objective to obtain a technology for economically feasible production of pullan. As best of our knowledge at present, there is no industrial manufacturer of this molecule in India. Our research group works on the diversity of yeast from various ecological niches. One of them is the to study the association of yeast and flowers. So the actual work related with pullan is an offshoot of the yeast biodiversity work, in which actually we are looking for yeast which are osmotolerant and non-pigmented. We have isolated several yeasts as part of our project and found that some of them belong to the genus Areobacetium pululans. When we have screened them for the production of pululan, 
we found about 10 of them producing very good amounts of pululan. During the process, the initial optimization is carried out in shake flask and further transferred to laboratory scale fermenters. In the beginning, we screen all aerobacidium strains for pululan production using a media containing glucose, yeast extract and peptone. Each strain was grown for 144 hours and the pululin was precipitated from cell-free fermentation broth using cold ethanol. Five of the highest pululin production strains were considered for second stage screening depending on their ability to produce exopolysaccharide. Among these, the strain designated as Aerobacidium's Pululin's RBF4A3 was found to be the most efficient pululin producer. A techno-economic calculation indicated that media components used were adding significant cost to the production. Keeping this in mind, the potential of agri-industrial residue as nutrient in place of conventional media components like yeast extract and peptone for pululin production was explored. Analysis of raw production cost component for pululin production suggested that sole utilization of agri residues led to the cost reduction of raw material by more than 90 percent. In nutshell, in CSR intake we have developed a technology for production of pululin by using a, an osmotolerant non-pigmented strain of Arabicidium pululins. The process has been initially optimized in shake flask level and further transferred to laboratory scale fermenter level and now being taken up to higher scales of 100 liter and 500 liter fermenters. In this process, we are able to produce more than 70 gram per liter pullen production, which is higher as compared to most of the literature reports, including publication as well as patents. More importantly, our process talks about production of pullen by using agri-industrial uh, waste. Actually, we are calling this process for creating wealth from waste, which are actually very low cost raw material. And our process is totally indigenous. The organism is from India and the whole process has been designed and created in India. So it goes very well along with the mandate of government of India, which says make in India. So we are trying to produce pululan by indigenous Indian technology.